Hello, Jennifer from Nashville Roof. This is Joel from JND SEO. I'm going to show you three ways that you can improve your website and beat some of your competition online. And if at the end of the video you guys want to hear some more information, you know, definitely reach out. I can answer those questions for you. If not, no big deal. I'm going to go ahead and give you a bunch of free tips and strategies in the video that you guys could apply directly to your site and get some of those results that we're going to talk about. <clears throat> so the three topics we'll talk about today are content, links, and citation. And the idea being, if we are able to get ahead of your competition in all three of these topics that we'll cover, you're going to be able to beat them online as well. So we'll just start with content. I'm on your page, as you can see. You guys have a nice looking site here with some projects it looks like you've done um, and some of the services that you guys offer. And you guys have kind of a running tally of all the jobs you've done, which is really cool. And um, some testimonials, which is awesome. What Google cares about the most is all of this, right? They want to know about all this content. And they really, they're looking for about 1,500 words of content on your homepage. And that's what's going to help to optimize your site. And once your site's optimized, you're going to show up in a lot of the results. And Google's going to rank you higher. Now, I'm also going to go ahead and show you Nashville Roofing Co. Because they're one of the top companies that's showing up in a lot of the searches. So if we look at their page, it looks pretty professional as well. We can see their links at the top here for the different services they offer on different pages. We're going to find their social media links as well as some content there, different services they offer. <clears throat> and just some other things about their company as well as some certifications and all that. Now we can see right away they don't have 1,500 words of content either. They're below the mark as well, which is a really good thing for you guys because it tells us that they're not at that spot, which makes them easier to get ahead of for content. So we definitely would want to add more content to get ahead of them, but ideally get to that 1,500 words of content. Now just having the content wouldn't be enough. We also want to make sure we have keywords into it. So I've just used Roofing Nashville, Tennessee as an example. This keyword alone, I already know, brings in over 100 people every single month that search it. And the way to show up for the search would be you have to have this keyword in your content or on your page somewhere. So you're going to have to have that in there. So keywords are just commonly grouped words or phrases that people search the most often to find a service in an area. So there's three ways to get on the first page. You could pay for ads as these companies have. You could get in the map section or GMB, Google My Business, top three show up in this preview window on this page. And you'll get a lot of attention there. Or you could show up in the organic section where we're going to get 10 results for any search you put into Google, no matter what it is. Um, and some of these are going to be directories such as Top 7, 514, Better Business Bureau, all those. And some are actual companies like R Nashville Roofing Co., which we use as our example. At the very bottom, you will find a couple ads as well. So talking about the organic section, we need 1,500 words of content. We need to make sure we have keywords in the content. And Google also wants to know they can trust your site. So the way to do that is I took your website, nashville-roof.com, plugged it into a program called Eris that I pay for. This just tells me how your site's performing. First thing I notice, I don't see any headers at the top of your page. If you did, they'd be above the link here. And if I just scroll over to Nashville Roofing Company, you'll see they have some here. So that's what it would look like. Um, and then let's dive into the numbers. The two most important are these two dials here. The UR is Google's trust in your website. This, these both go to 100. The DR would be the power behind your site. So we're seeing you guys are at a zero for there, so not a lot registering for the power. Now, the way to build these up is through your links and referring domains. So right now we can see you've got 13 backlinks on your site. And those backlinks are what links your site with these referring domains or other websites that you guys are linked to. So right now you have six referring domains and 13 links on those sites. A great example would be like a Facebook business page. That would be your referring domain if it's linked to your site. And then having your uh, web address in on your Facebook business page would link it to your current site. So it would look just like this, nashvilleroof.com. When you click it, it's going to be redirected to your site. <clears throat> now with six sites pointing back at you guys, we can see that one of them is strong. So only we're at 17% of those. So really only one of them is giving you the trust here. And the more sites that do point back at you that Google does trust already and have some strength to them, it's going to increase your trust. Now, with that number of trust there, the eight that you guys have, we can see you are showing up for one keyword currently. These are what really bring the visitors in. Unfortunately, that one is bringing in zero visitors. All right, if we go over to Nashville Roofing Company, we're going to see they have 217 links on 85 websites. Now, the 85 sites they're linked to, we can see 56 of them are strong, so a 66% ratio. With, 60, with uh, 56 sites pointing back, we can see their trust is at a 26 and that's allowing them to be found for about 122 searches um, for through keywords. That's bringing them 184 actual visitors to their site. Just as a reference, 
100 visitors to your site on a very conservative number would probably give you 20 to 30 calls a month. So we can actually go ahead and look at all of their referring domains, all the sites pointing back to them that are giving them trust and power, and we can go find their 56 strong ones. We can get a lot of those exact same ones. If they work for them, there's no reason why they wouldn't work for you. So we can get some of the same referring domains, backlinks of them, getting the same amount of trust. And then we'd want to just add more on top of that so that we can get ahead of them. And then if you also wanted to show up in the GMB or map section, you just have to get citations. And that's getting your business name, address, and phone number all listed together in directory sites like Home Advisor, Better Business Bureau, Yelp, uh, Yellow Pages, or your social media like Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram as well. If these guys had like 30, you'd want to have 130 so you get far enough ahead of them that it'd be really difficult for them to catch you. Being in these top three, you're going to get a ton of results. You're going to get a lot of people calling directly with the numbers here or going to the site which is displayed and again getting calls from that as well. And the third option would be if you wanted to pay for ads, you would just have to outbid these top ones here and you would show up there as well. All right, thank you guys for your time. I hope this was helpful for you. I'll give you a call in a day or so um, and just wanted to know if this was helpful. You know, I'm hoping that it was able to provide some information for you. But thank you guys for your time and have a great day.